June the 6th, Monday. No, 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 it's June the 6th. I think it was a... I don't know. When I violated my probation multiple times and was dragged into court willingly. Judge Annette Turek, I begged her that she give the order that I be given my treasure on at night so that I could sleep. I thought I deserved to be punished, but this should not include the destruction of my health. And she so ordered it. Well, when I got to North County, the Billy W. E. Smith Detention Center, they did not obey Judge Annette Turek's order. Either they didn't get the order, which in that case is negligence on their part, or they just plain old disobeyed it. In which case, I'm going to try to get them held in contempt of court. She, I got right here. A grievance I filled out. If I could find, if I can find the thing. Well, I specifically state that just Annette, I've, I've told them multiple times that just Aunt, just, just Turek, I couldn't remember her first name, ordered that I'd be given my treasure on at night. One, one of the guards said, well, she's, the, well, she's not in authority over here. She doesn't have any authority over here. That's exactly what she told me. Not only that, but I filled out a grievance mentioning that just Turek ordered me to give me be given me to be given my treasure on. They replied back. Uh, I turned into the grievance and another guard said, hey, you turned into the wrong form. They didn't even tell me I turned into the wrong form. But fortunately, this guard turned, had me turn to the right form, right copy. I got a response. We do not dispense narcotics at this facility. Come and find out Pam, the head nurse, was giving my my prescription calls for two fifty milligram tablets a night. Come find out, she was giving me only one fifty milligram tablet in the morning when she's supposed to be sleeping at night. I mentioned this to her. She's like, "We can't give it to you to make you sleep." Trust me, if I could get everybody to fall asleep here at 10 o'clock, I would. But I, we're not allowed to do that. We can give it to you for anxiety. I asked her, why can't you give it to me at night instead of in the day? Because we dispense medicine in the day. Correction, they dispense medication at 7 in the morning and 7 at night. I got... I basically... I didn't get... I can count on one hand the number of hours I got of sleep I got at night. I would lay in bed, unable to fall asleep. Nights were the, I served a 64 day sentence in 32 days because I was always up. Not only that, but she would refuse to give me my Librium, which the Pitt County Detention Center gave me. She would not give me my flu casing, nasal spray. She's like, that's not a that that you can get that get that over the counter. That's not a prescription medication. No, I'm, I'm not dispensing that to you. So I was constantly missing the floor, missing the toilet when I pissed because I was too dizzy because she would not give me my medication. They disobeyed Judge Annette Turek's order to give me my treasure at night. Not, not only that, but they told me, Mom, if they, uh, I ran out of, uh, what you call it, Plavix in the day, I ain't Plavix, they would not, their budget does not allow them to get some new Plavix refills. They would have to give me a new medication, which is dangerous. When you start playing with people's medication, you're asking for a disaster. She believed the word of some doctor. I, who, who had never seen my face, who did not want to know for Adam over the prescription of my doctor. My doctor prescribed the fluticationing. Her name is Pam. So, I'm going to pursue legal action. Let me tell you something. If murder was legal, 
I'd hunt these people down and kill as many of them as I possibly could. Oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do it because murder is illegal. But if murder was legal. No, I take that back. If I suffer, if I find out, if, I, if murder was legal and I found out I suffered any ill health, health effects, I'd hunt as many of these motherfuckers down and I'd fucking kill them. My health is more important than your red tape bullshit. Oh, fuck you. I'm going to talk to Judge Annette. Yeah, Judge Annette Turk doesn't have any authority here. She doesn't run this place, is what I was told. What good is the judge's order if you can thumb your nose at it and not suffer a contempt charge? Man, seeing this right here makes me happy that the Dallas police got shot up because these are the people who put you in jail and can jeopardize your health. They can seize your private property and not have to give it back. And let me tell you something. I got Asperger's. I love my private property more, infinitely more than I do four-fifths of the human race. More than four-fifths of the human race. My private property never stabs me in the back. My private, when I want my private property, it never says to me, I'm busy. I can't, I can't keep it coming right now. My private property is always there for me. When you, the rest of you humanity ignores me. So I, I had rather every one of you die than me lose my private property. I love my private property infinitely more than I love you. With the exception of my family and my friends because they do something for me. You human beings, you, you don't do nothing for me. So I don't care if you die. My private property does more for me than you could ever do for me. And that's the name of that tune. Mm -mm -mm. I give it the middle finger to every goddamn one of y'all. The middle fucking finger.